Poland is a place of many wonders. The heights of the Tatras, the coast of the Baltic, the lakes of Varmia Mazuria, and in every corner of this great land, some of the weirdest place names ever recorded. Believe it or not, Konyec Sviata is just the start of a very long list. Places like Potforov and Białokow sound like they were made up by a five-year-old, whilst others, like Niezna Novica, obviously had no effort put into them at all. And then there's Mikowajki, which points to an even greater conspiracy. In this list, we're looking at 10 of the weirdest place names in Poland, from major cities to the tiniest backwaters in the Polska. Number 10, Częstochowa, often hidden. This city is located in Silesia, the mountainous region in the southwest of Poland. And in medieval times, when you were approaching from the old capital of Kraków, travelers would be constantly ascending and descending the hills to the south of the city. Thus, Częstochowa would frequently come into sight at a peak and then disappear again in the valley. Częstochowa, Częstochowa. Itak dalej, itak dalej. Some historians, however, believe that Częstochowa actually means place of Częstoch, whoever Częstoch was. Number 9. Ostatni Grosz, Last Penny. According to legend, the guy who settled here had gambled all his money away quite literally down to his last penny. With that last coin in his pocket, he purchased the land on which the village of Ostatni Grosz now resides. For one penny! Inflation has really driven up land prices in Poland. Number 8. Kowobzeg, Around the Coast This one seems logical enough, as Kowobzeg is located on the Baltic coast and is a very popular summer holiday spot for Poles, Germans and Danes. However, it's the German version of the name that we like to giggle at. After centuries of German influence, Kowobzeg has slowly evolved into its German equivalent, Kolberg. In this form, the German to English translation could be read as Cabbage Mountain, which sounds quite bizarre to say the least. Number 7. Zakopane. Buried. If you came to Poland to ski, this is the place you'll most likely be headed. Zakopane is a major center in the Tatra mountain range. There's no indication of exactly what's been buried here, but considering all the slopes and the high amount of snowfall annually, it makes you wonder if the place has ever been prone to avalanches. Number 6. Wrzeszcz, Shout. A suburb of the Baltic city of Gdańsk, Wrzeszcz has become popular for all its cafes and vegan restaurants. However, Shout is not some sort of ironic hipster statement. The etymology of Wrzeszcz comes from the old name for the area, Wrzost, which comes from Wrzos, the Polish and Kashubian word for heather. So, at some point in ages past, the area of Wrzeszcz used to be a forest or field populated with heather, not hipsters. <coughs> Number 5. Piekło. Hell. Did you know that there are at least seven different localities in Poland called Hell, which is kind of ironic for such a devoutly Catholic nation? The reason behind these namesakes are hard to determine. One of these towns is located on a bend of the Vistula River, and apparently it's been prone to flooding for centuries, resulting in a huge loss of life, not to mention the destruction of property and farmland. So these place names may or may not have been influenced by natural disasters and hardship, or perhaps they're just really genuinely awful places to live. It's also worth mentioning that there is actually a place called Hell, H-E-L, which is on the peninsula of the same name. In Old Polish, this apparently meant empty, though in modern Polish, Hell translates into English as Helium. To further drive the point home, there is only one bus route that exists on the peninsula, and its number is 666. Number 4. Wuj. Boat. Locally, there is certainly no confusion about the meaning of the word, considering the fact that the city's coat of arms is just that, a boat. The irony, of course, is that Wuj is at least 250 kilometers inland from the nearest major body of water. So why the name? Well, the truth is, no one really knows. While there's a few small rivers that run through the city, the city has never actually been known as a river-bound trading hub. Unfortunately, we'll have to put this one in the don't-know boat. Number 3. Tsutsuv. T 
Titsville. While most of you are having a giggle at this rather infantile name, the truth is that this little conservative town in the southeast of Poland probably has no adult entertainment to speak of. The name most likely refers to a percale factory that probably existed here many centuries ago. The old Polish word for percale is tzitz, from the Dutch word sits. Nowadays, however, tzitz is slang for a woman's breasts, a very different meaning indeed. Number 2. Przemysl. Think about it. The city of Przemysl has a long rich history thanks to its unique geographic location. This gap in the Subcarpathian mountain range, known as the Przemysl Gate, has led to its natural evolution as a trading route. Unfortunately, no one has any concrete theories about the etymology of the city's name. If any linguists out there have any suggestions, leave a comment below and we'll think about it. Before we reveal our number one pick for the weirdest Polish place name, we'd like to mention that Poland in Your Pocket is currently struggling financially, no thanks to the coronavirus situation. In the description you'll find a link to our donation campaign where you can make a contribution, and we really do appreciate any support you can give us at this difficult time. And now for some honourable mentions. Ustka, Lips, Helm, Helmet, Grabaja, Grave Diggers, Sucha Psina, Dry Doggy, and Stara Zasada, Old Rules, which coincidentally is next door to Nova Zasada, New Rules. Number 1. Zwemienso, Bad Meat. This small village in northern Poland takes the award for both the weirdest and most sinister name on our list. The name has existed on record since the late 15th century as its German equivalent, Bersenfleisch. According to legend, a number of travellers had gone missing in the area, and after several years of investigation, it was discovered that all these individuals were guests of the village inn. It was further revealed that the innkeeper had not only murdered these guests, but also had fed their flesh to other customers. The proprietor was subsequently hanged, and the inn demolished to the ground. Despite this alleged and rather sinister history, the village of Zwemienso has decided to keep its rather bizarre name. How very Polish. Thanks for watching, we hope you found this video informative and enjoyable, and if you're interested in knowing more about Poland, make sure you head along to poland.inyourpocket.com, or you can check out one of our city Facebook pages. We'll see you next time.